Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, my name is Britica and I'm a second year at the University of Virginia on the pre-med track. So today's video is about what classes to take if you're going into college as a pre-med student. So I'm going to talk to you guys just kind of about scheduling because one of the biggest problems with med school is just trying to figure out when to take all your classes, what classes to take, what order to take them in because a lot of them have prerequisites. So I'm just going to help you guys with scheduling in your pre-med classes and then you can figure out what other major you're going to add to your schedule. Pre-med is not a major at your school, like mine, it is not. Um, and then basically that'll help you set up your schedule because as a first year or incoming freshman, you want to set up a four-year plan so you kind of have an idea of what classes you're going to take, if you already know what major you're going to do, and if you know that you're medical. Of course, that's not to say that you should know what major you're going to do, and if you don't, that's not a problem. But it's good to know that if you're thinking about doing medical school, you should probably start taking these classes so that you don't fall behind. Okay, so I'll start with your first year. So some of the more important classes you're going to want to take, and I'll just maybe list all of them out for you. I'll probably also put it on the screen right here, is you need two semesters of English, two semesters of intro bio with the lab, two semesters of gen chem or general chemistry with the lab, two semesters of organic chemistry with the lab, two semesters of physics with the lab, and then a semester of, actually before I say the next thing, so those are the six-ish things that are absolutely required by all med schools and they all need them, so if you don't have those, don't think about trying to apply to med school yet, make sure you finish getting all of those. Next, some of the schools require some of these classes, so some schools require biochemistry, one to two math classes, most of them require math, uh, math up to the level of calculus, um, intro stats is required by most schools, and then some schools require intro psych or intro sociology, but normally you can get by with having done just one of them, so it's not a necessity, but I would suggest doing both of them. Um, and then most schools recommend but do not require cell, bio, and genetics. So now let's talk a little bit about how to get all these classes, okay? So my suggestion to you, especially if your school requires an uh, English writing requirement, especially in your first year, which most colleges do, to my understanding, take your English um, like writing requirement, either your first or second semester, sometime during your first year. You kind of get it out of the way. It's hopefully not too difficult of a class, but it's a good class that you're probably also going to need for your general education requirements. And then, from my understanding, most first years also take intro bio and intro chem together. It's suggested that you take both of those together because you'd rather take intro bio and intro chem together than taking bio and orgo together, which is supposed to be awful. So I would recommend taking intro bio and intro chem along with both of their respective labs first year and both like first semester and second semester. So that means that you're done with in your first year English, intro bio, and intro chem. Okay? And then for organic chemistry, take it your second or your third year with the lab. So whenever you take the first class, take it with the lab. And then it's important to notice, especially for most schools, that like organic chemistry one, you can only take it in the fall, and organic chemistry two is only offered in the spring. So make sure that you're paying attention to that when you're setting up your schedule. And then general physics, a lot of people try and take physics and organic chemistry not at the same time. So either do physics second year, like physics one lab, physics two lab, and then third year do organic one lab, organic two lab, or switch it and do organic first and physics second. Personally, I ended up doing physics over the summer just because it worked out better for my schedule, but yeah, I would advise taking them not at the same time. Um, okay, after physics, so those are the six requirements. So that would mean that you're basically ready to go after your third year of college. Um, so for the other ones, biochemistry does require organic chemistry one at most schools, I think all schools actually. So if you're trying to take biochemistry, which isn't required, either take organic chemistry first or think about taking biochem and orgo two at the same time, which I've heard can be a little difficult, but you do need both of them for the MCAT, so you want to make sure that you have it before you think about taking the MCAT. Um, calculus, I would advise taking at least one calc class just your first semester of college. Hopefully that'll fit all the math requirements required for med school, but they're not very picky about that. Um, intro stats, a lot of people also take this first year, but that's not really a big deal. You can kind of take it whenever. It's not as important for the MCAT either, so I would just recommend taking it within your first three years of college. Um, intro Soch and Intro Psych are also good to fill your gen ed requirements at your college. Normally they will fill some of your like humanities credits or some of those types of things, like literature, like 
there's like the general humanities credit, I believe. So they help with that. And then lastly, genetics and cell bio. Doesn't really matter when you take them, but take them after regular bio, obviously, and think about what other classes you're taking because for a lot of people, those classes are pretty hard and they also require a lot of memorization or just a detailed understanding of a lot of concepts that are like very nitpicky. So you want to make sure that you have enough time in the semester that you're taking them to fit them in. And of course, don't forget you want to fill in the rest of your gen ed requirements like history, literature, all those types of things. And you also want to be thinking about your major or your minors or whatever other classes you're taking. Anyways, I hope all of this helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Don't forget to go like this video if you help if it helped you. If you helped it. If it helped you. And to click the subscribe button if you want more content like this. Let me know what else you want guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see down in the comments below. Bye!